<laughs> what is going on, everybody? It's your man, Love Like. I'm going to welcome back to Love Like Your Games. <laughs> everybody continue to get up on this thing, which is Republic. And uh, I hope y'all ready, because I know I'm ready. Y'all ready? Let's uh, do this. Uh. And let's go ahead and continue this joint, y'all. All right, I got the last thing up there. Okay, let's get on up out of here. And this room is a level five, so I'm definitely going to have to come back again later. Alright, alright, let me go down this way right quick. Okay, oh shoot, where I'm at, where I'm at, where I'm at. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, let me go in this room right quick, let me see something. Alright, gotta try to run the crawl. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They got another camouflage. Let's get it, baby, baby. When you when you guys mention TTS, what does it mean? Like when, speech. Yeah, so that, I know I know what it means. So but like, I feel like that's how it should break it Does it mean you deliver the audio files? Yeah, I will deliver the actual audio files. Okay. Because when I'm putting them, like, again, for the one-liners, any, I think anybody could just type those in. But for, like, the longer paragraphs where mm -hmm. Cooper's talking, if something doesn't make sense, like, I can you play it back. It. Okay. Yeah, and change the And then once you are done with that, and Ryan needs to listen to them all, right? Oh, me and I mean, anybody who wants to, but I will listen to them, and I'll say, I didn't actually understand what he said. So there's stuff that TTS can straight out not pronounce, and that will not be... So you need to have him... Massages. Well, I'm just saying, it's like, yeah, you I, I, I think you might be right. You have to do it, Fair I think. Right? Isn't yeah, it? yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sure. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, I just think for most of them, like, I've started to write with, like, knowing, okay, he can't do numbers right, or he can't do this right. And so, like, a lot of the one-liners, I'm pretty confident on most of them. Okay. But, like, I feel like we could still generate them all in my absence, and then I could listen to them tomorrow or something like that, and be like, okay, of like the 90, like these three yeah. had a problem, and I will just go ahead and just make those. Alright, alright, that's cool, that's cool, talking about Cooper and all that, I like that. <clears throat> we ain't talking about King Cooper either. Alright, let's go. Alright, bust this corner, bust this corner. Alright, what we got right here, what we got, what we got. Oh, there we go, another camouflage. Yeah, let's get it. Power station. Initial brainstorm. If players want to screw around and see, like, the... Try to break our game, it's like, send... Have Hope put the tape in. Now you're hearing the right playback. And then you send her to... Like the lockers room, whatever, you can see like the guards start spawning in or whatever. You know what I mean? Like the nice thing about the black screen is that you can't send her anywhere. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think I just want it to be a, a physical thing so that Hope has some involvement. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we don't want to think about why Cooper like, No, I, I think for the same reason Cooper doesn't take a more hands on approach for to the whole thing. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, you know, I can work behind the scenes. I can t I'm, not, I'm not even talking to you with my real voice. I'm using text to speech. I, I, I don't want to go in there and be caught on a camera pulling the lever. Yeah. Hope's already trying to escape, you know. Where you know, that's, that's a good point. It gets me back to the whole thing with the stupid caller. It's like, the reason why he's having Hope do all this and why he can't do it is that he's being tracked. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Every All those movements, he hasn't done anything out of the ordinary. He's yeah. done everything they told him to do, no, right? Although he probably should have been like, and while you're at it, hack my caller too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, I like that one, I don't know, one Chris Rack is sort of, his mind is blown and he's like, I don't know what's going on. And, okay, and, Cooper, and Cooper's like, oh, yeah. I don't know. You can almost hear in the text of speech Cooper crossing his arms really <laughs> smugly, like, exactly. yeah, exactly, Chris Rack. And then, and then Quinn's like, no, I know what this is. Like, this is somebody tampering with the, in the power room. And then you hear his mood change. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then Cooper's like, oh. No, no, might be a good time to have the dot, dot, dot come from Cooper. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's, he's, he's changing, yeah. but he's not yeah. sure. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm saying if this is all over black, we have up in the corner, you know how you have Cooper calling the emoticons? Yeah. We just have yeah. an emoticon the entire time. Right, exactly. and we, have this, we, have, like, we have an emoticon just constantly changing states <laughs> yeah. up in the corner. It's like biting fingernails. <laughs> see where he's going with this. <laughs> 
still talking about Cooper and whatnot. And how they created Cooper. Alright, let's get it. Alright, let me go through this way now. Uh, let me see what I got to cop over here. Yep, up. Oh, yes. Got me another camouflage. Yes. Weapons balance. I'd, I'd like to have a item under the, all right, around the reception desk. Wouldn't it be badass to have, like, some kind of, like, reason Pepper to go spray, with that? Pike C type. I like that, too, because we've got the, the books. The books, and yeah. that'll be a, be a nice little balance of risk right. reward. Yeah, yeah, we can put it on his desk. Uh, it's a tiered desk, so we can put something in. What's up? I mean, you want to send hope in there? Yeah. Okay, so let's say there's POI in there if you switch to the other camera. It's like three POIs. Like, I feel like maybe pepper spray. Right? I think we should start putting more pepper sprays through. We have pepper spray in the adjoining confinement room, but we can put more in, like, one of the desks. Where's the first opportunity for getting pepper spray? It would be in this this space on the, to the left here, and this confinement room off to the side. There's a pepper spray in there. But, but they're, uh, yeah, they're one-time uses, and from what I saw, the, the playtesters, they, they liked it when they did use it, mm -hmm. and I think we can have, we can increase the number of pepper sprays that we have okay. in the game. I think, yeah, contextually too, it's like, if it's his desk and it's along, among the clutter of his desk, you can just grab it. I like that they're, so are they one-time use now? I think that's better, because now it gives us more opportunities to have items around the I like it, yeah. yeah. We can specify as many as we want to put down the We put out stacks of one to three, how really? many we want to put in the world. So you cool with adding a pepper spray behind us? Yes. Sure. I'm thinking of making the reception desk, making them all be one, one pickup per, and then letting you stack, you know, a fair number. Like it's, stack to three? It would be maybe. kind of maybe by his water bottle right now in the corner of his desk right, right here. Yeah, or maybe five. So what, five? Yeah. Veggie, that's like five get out of jail free cards. That's only people who are hoarding. Well, from what I've seen, a lot of people would be using these things earlier. Veggie, you don't believe in the power of three. My only concern is somebody's already at their cap and they keep coming here. across these and they're, oh, okay. they can't pick them up. But that's it's good. not a big that's deal. That's good. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. They've got three and they're not using them. <laughs> I feel like they should be cool. Try max of three? three? Yeah. You guys cool with that? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Okay, now what, what my boy gotta do now is I gotta find that room so I can listen to that bad old cassette tape. I still got that cassette tape I have not listened to yet. So that's one thing that I have to do. Okay. All right, now that tape, that tape that I did not listen to, I think it's this last one right here. I think it's the last one. I think it's this last one. Let me see. I got a message for the Prizrak. To all you ghosts sulking around these halls, I got something to say. It's not your fault. You all been sold the same bill of goods by His Majesty King Treglazov. This place, this whole place, is just one big chessboard, and all the pieces are pawns. Yeah, Derringer. Even you. The overseer will junk you like a disposable razor as soon as your edges start to dull. You think I'm lying to you? You think because you're a loyalist and not some sawdust-eating prole that you earned a little carte blanche? <laughs> well, think again. <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife, chumps. Maybe they have the internet in hell. It's my hell they do. Let's face it. You signed up for this mess because you thought you didn't have a choice. Or that there'd be some nice perks at least. But you can only feel up so many little old ladies in wheelchairs before the shine wears off. Whatever brought you to this place, whatever it took to get you on board, you signed that dotted line in blood, didn't you? Or you should have read the fine print. Because a Treglazov contract is binding. Literally. And let's talk for a minute about the job itself. Getting worked up every time the threat level rises, hitting little kids, recalibration. Does it make you feel like more of a man? Hmm? I don't want to get all sour grapes here. I said, I don't blame you. And I don't, truthfully. So I'm here to offer you a way out. And I don't mean at the end of a rope, neither. You know, living in crawl spaces has taught me to always keep an eye out for an escape route. So here's yours. Revolt. Revolt! Turn your 
your rage and despair into something productive and bring me the head of King Treglazov. And you better free yourselves because, well, <laughs> he sure <laughs> won't. And in the meantime, I'll be here. I should probably clean up the place a little. Make some space for that severed head. This is Zager saying don't trust anyone. Not even me. Dang, Zager. Dang, but you got some pent you got some aggression, boy, some pent up aggression that you wanted to get out, didn't you? Dang. I mean you is right about one thing, no DTA, don't trust anyone. Dang, but you is hot. You mad mad. Hey, well that's it, y'all. We listen to that tape. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. Let's get on up out of here. Let go. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's continue. All right, let go. Let go. Let go. Yeah. Got to continue this joint. I'm not through yet. I'm definitely not through yet. Some more tapes I got to collect. Yeah, let me see. Yep, I don't listen to the audio that was over here. I don't listen to that stuff. But I definitely got to run over here to this side over here. I got to run over here and see what's over there. I did not do that yet. What's this book over here? I'll take this. Yep, I did not take that before. That's another book. Salinger, amateur sculptor of teenage angst. In Catcher in the Rye, he forces us to watch Holden flit from school to school. Oh, poor Eo, tormented by Hera's gadfly. When Caulfield realizes that he, not the institutions, beleaguer him the most, he is truly at risk. Our beloved pre-cows must never know their gadflies and ever rely on their republic to satisfy. We don't need another Mark David Chapman. Okay, okay, I feel you. Catch her eye. Catch her in the rye. Okay. Alright, let me see what's this way right here. Oh, man, that's five. Oh, version five. Definitely need a version five before I can go up in that joint. Alright, let's go ahead and go through the door right quick then, because that's what we gotta do. That's the most important thing. We gotta go through this door right here. Alright, y'all, let's go ahead up these steps. Let's go up in this daggone room right here. So this is where I'm supposed to be. This is the library. This is definitely where I'm supposed to be. She's been doing so much running around. Like, oh, shoot, here's another one. Oh, man. I did not see that right there. I'm glad. I'm so glad I went over there to that camera angle. Yes. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's look at this one. It's another one. Lobby. Hope Wild Road. Then I, I wrote, she kind of straightens up and gets back to the objective. And she's like, the librarian's just through these doors. The librarian will help us. He'll show us a way out of here. Do you want her to stop at the in front of those two doors? How about, yeah, how about she, okay, so in that closet, I don't know what the prisoner acts intentions were. I'm glad we didn't stick around and find out to camera. And she runs into the main room, into the atrium, mm -hmm. right? And she stops. So we'll treat it like a like a vignette, you know, like we did for when she's like, "There's the atrium." Stops in front of the, yeah. the big two doors. Yeah, yeah. And she says, "The library's just through these doors. My like, brain will help us. He'll show us a way out here." And then, right through it. The one only thing that I see is that like you're stopping the game when you just start playing. I mean, do you guys are you guys okay with that? Because like you have to sit through that. It's kind of long, the, the video. That the video is like 10 seconds. I mean, like, compared to, I mean, you're right. But compared to, like, episode one, where it's like a three-minute cinematic, then another two-minute long Cooper tour, and, you know, it's like five yeah. minutes. This is probably, within 30 seconds, you're rocking and rolling and pushing things and locking doors. Uh, okay. For adding a bunch of points where she's going to, like, stop and look at the camera and say things, like, that's... I think that's gonna start adding a lot. Like I was thinking more of, hey, what lines would be good to have for like when players are in this puzzle and they're stuck, or you know. Wait like, until you get into this episode before yeah. you make that call, though, Nate, because okay. it needs it needs love. Yeah. It really does. I'm I'm okay with either, but I'm wondering just for the pacing. Okay. Is it good to like set up? She doesn't have to look at the camera. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know that all our cameras are going to be from yeah. this angle anyway. Her back's going to be to us. It's almost like. Yep. Like for instance, yep. we just hear a like sigh. That. You know, maybe we have 
Caitlin do a little bit of like, you know, shoulders like into that, that yeah. side animation, and then we'll begin. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to write side into the script. <laughs> <laughs> Having a blast doing this joint. I know they do. They've been having a ball talking about it, discussing it, discussing it. And that's the first time I heard that lady talk, too. I'm glad they listened to her input as well. Alright, let's get on up out of here. Oh, shoot. It's another room. This is the room that I gotta enter right here. Oh, snap. Baby girl. That's where I gotta be. Mm, that's a huge, big library. Well, you can tell somebody dropped a load of cash on this joint. It feels so quiet after hours. It used to be filled with books. <gasps> oh, shoot. Somebody coming? What? 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 Oh, my God. Somebody dropped something. What was that? What was that? What is that? Some glasses. The library, mm, the librarian glasses. His office is up there, third floor. We should go to him now. Well, let's go to him then. Shoot. Let's go to him. Hey, I gotta go through the door right there. Okay, there ain't no other doors that I can go through. I think that's the door that I came through. Did I come through that door? I gotta go through that door, and I gotta. Check out the angles right quick. And I ain't talking about Kurt. Man, this is a big oh man, this is a big place. I'll look at all oh that there I am over there. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right quick. Hey. Don't talk like that. Sager said that someday the truth will rain down on this place and wash away all of the headmaster's lies. I've never seen the rain before. Sager wasn't talking about the rain. He was talking about the truth. I don't care about the truth. I just want to know what rain feels like. Hey, you ain't never felt the rain. I hope that's, you know, uh... I hope that's just a saying that you say, and not not for real. Because if you ain't never felt the rain before, if you ain't never felt the rain before, what in the world have you been at? I hope that's just a saying, because you know when people say stuff like that, it is it is just a saying. You know, it should it could be a meaning for something else. Because I doubt if she ain't never actually felt the rain drop on her skin. So I hope that's just a saying. I hope there's some type of metaphor. Alright, let's go, let's go. Um, shoot, let me check way over here. Let me check this. Gotta check the camera angles, make sure I ain't missing nothing. Because when I come down this way, I'm gonna definitely be looking for stuff. But if these camera angles got me, then I don't really have to be searching no more. Normally, version 2.0. Alright, so I think I'm good for right now. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I almost missed that. I ain't know it was close. Let's get it. Hope and weep. Add a sense of promise, Mark, to the first Zegger line. Okay. It's like, this is what I believe in. Okay. Okay. And let's just try a complete matter of fact one at the top. Yeah. Okay, you just two kids sitting there talking. And neither of you work too hard, please. Uh, rolling on take five. Make a wish. But don't tell me what it is or it won't come true. Awkward. I wish the headmaster was dead. Weep. Don't talk like that. Sager said that someday the truth will rain down on this place and wash away all of the headmaster's lies. 
I've never seen the rain before. Zager wasn't talking about real rain. He was talking about the truth. I don't care about the truth. I just want to know what rain feels like. I know, that was a good ending. Um, good. One second. Uh, the 106, 107. Is I she, need the words. Is she a little more, like, flirty there? Because, like, she's just trying to have fun, right? And then he's like, serious business. Okay. Cause, like, then Go back goes, to slightly flirty, playful on the top. And then, do we need to have, say, real rain on 113, or can we get rid of real? I kind of like real rain. All right. If it sounds funky, we'll change it. All right. Um, Mark, before this scene happened, the headmaster put you in confinement for a while, and so you're a little bit more pissed off. Okay. And you can even direct that anger a little bit towards hope. Okay. By that, I do not mean volume. Okay. I just mean attitude. Zager said that someday the truth will rain down on this place and oh, yeah. wash away all of the headmasters. Good. Mark, you feel a little too innocent. I've never seen rain before. Okay, you need to be angrier. Just, just piss. Zager yeah, and a little more of your somebody. impetuous youth. Okay. You know, like, Zager said this. Yeah. You know, screw you, Hope. Get mad right now. Just get really mad. Get mad. Screw you, Hope. Yes, use that. It's too much, but it's easier. My friends hate me. It's easier, too. Here we go. Here, no laughing. No laughing. Get angry right now. Angry. Go. Make a wish, but don't tell me what it is or it won't come true. Take seven. I wish the headmaster was dead. There you go. Why don't you guys start looking at the next one? <laughs> yeah, that joke funny, man. Yeah, she's trying to be all serious about it. No laughing, no laughing, no laughing. Let's get serious right now. Get serious right now. And then when I heard the video a while ago, I swear I thought I just, I swear I thought I was listening to the same daggone joint until after she stopped it and they started talking again. Because I was like, I swear I just heard this one a while ago. <laughs> but then they stopped talking and I realized it's a totally different video. I mean, it's a totally different audio. But when it first came on, I swear I was listening to the same thing. All right, let's get it. Yeah, this is my field, man. This is my field. That's my field. When they're talking about doing videos and acting and stuff, that is my department. Because I'm an entertainer. That's what I do. I act. I play video games. This is my world. This is my life. This is what I enjoy doing. Especially in the entertainment business. Okay, it's some more that I left behind. Jeez. I'm glad I'm looking around thoroughly. All right, let's get it. Zager's silence deafening. The notorious terrorist is quiet, scheming. The arrival is just weeks away, and public enemy number one has gone radio silent. If the headmaster, or overseer, or whatever name he goes by these days, plans to take a bow on the world stage, he can't have a phantom hiding in the wings ready to sabotage his big production. I shouldn't complain. It's going to be one hell of a show. I like one hell of a shows. Zager's silence is defending. The notorious terrorist is quiet. Scheming. Alright. Okay. Make sure I gotta thoroughly look some more before I end up going anywhere. Dude, I think I think I'm good though. I think I grabbed everything so far. I ain't even see this. Quiet I ain't even see that dude. It's time to shock my boy. Time to get him. Let's get him. Osin, Osin, Osin Kov. Time to get ya. That book. I gotta get that book right here though. Yeah, it's time to get you, Austin Cobb. Yeah, Austin, Austin Cobb. Ivan. Mm -hmm. Allies, Austin Vincent Irvin. Medical history, N.A. charges. Clean record. Oh, just like me. Clean like a baby's behind. All right, it's time to shock you, my boy. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Unhand me. Nope, you gotta get it. What well, I'm talking about some nope, you gotta get it. <laughs> Let's see what's on him. 
I don't want you to get it, hope. These pockets are empty. I'm not talking about you, baby girl. Yeah, a cartridge. Good luck surviving in this meditative space strategy game, which takes basic RTS building mechanics and wraps it together with a pleasing minimalistic visual design. Oh, and good luck pronouncing its title. If I had access to Wikipedia, I could have saved myself from asking a fellow Prizrak and Swedish native what rim capsule means. He said it means space capsule. He then reported me immediately to Derringer. Alright, that's it. Lag out. Alright, where that book at? I just freaking never saw a saw book while ago. I still gotta get that book. Oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, I see, I see it. it's on this table over here. Alright, get your butt up. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Come grab this book, girl. Get your butt up. Get your butt up. Get this book. I'll be taking this. There you go. Ah, uh, yes. Ayn Rand. The Fountainhead. She dramatized the struggle for individualism against leeches. In reality, she abandoned such notions the minute they interfered with her own desires. They were socialist figments. In any case, librarian, not the true power structures that shape our lives. I'm afraid the fountainhead cannot flow, stopped up, with so much hypocrisy. Aye. So much hypocrisy. Okay. Aye, I think we're good over here. Aye. I gotta be real thorough about this joint. Definitely gotta be real thorough. Well, oh, I gotta I gotta tase somebody. I hear somebody. The situation the situation is not clear. The situation is not clear, my guy. Oh that's is that is that somebody else too? Yep, that's somebody upstairs. Let me go back through this door right quick, because I think that's the door that I came through. Just to make sure. Oh, look at this book. I'll be taking this. How the heck did I miss that book? Please, I'm glad I went through that door. Marquez would have you believe he's a prophet? 100 years of solitude. A man possessing otherworldly insight into how each state's Gabriel downfall is Marquez. predetermined. Well, surely... He did not predict how his rampant vulgarity and celebrations of incest in 100 years of solitude would play before the court of his own state's generous overseers. I say we banish him for life, plus a century, librarian. Dang, that was close. You took my ban of somebody for life? You wrong. You wrong for that one. You wrong. You wrong for that one. Banning somebody for. Oh shoot, he coming to get her. Oh no, come on with it. Come on with it, there. Come on with it, fool. Come on with it. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Come on, stand on up. Stand on up, cause he coming. Come on. Let's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, peak zero joint. We about to use that right now. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. All right, go ahead hit him with your taser. Hit him with the taser too. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Got another cartridge to listen to, too. Let's go listen to the cartridge eyes. One of the best Blueprint early games 3D. I ever played on my phone was Blueprint 3D by prolific Ukrainian developer Kostya Stankvich. This clever game has you rotate 3D points into a perfectly realized blueprint of objects like famous buildings. I wonder if other game developers ever thought to integrate its core mechanic into their own game? Probably not. No, that's too good of an idea. You know, this game is different. This game is different. Mm, Aikiwada, Yosuke, Yosuke. Aikiwada, Yosuke. Mm-hmm, allies. 
Yusuke Fugaku. Mm -hmm. Medical history, PTSD, multiple personality disorder, charges, critical fraud, position of contraband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wrong for that. Alright. I gotta charge up my joint. Make sure I got everything over here. Oh, shoot. Gotta get my boy right here. He got to get it. Mmm. Anil Alexander. Mm hmm. Allies. CVX Freak. Medical history. Asthma. Clinical depression. Charges. Arson. Money laundering. Oh, you got to get it, my boy. Let's go for the steal. Time to get you. Let's get him. Let's get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't let him go nowhere. Don't let him go nowhere. Where, where you going? Where you going? Girl, baby girl, what are you going? Get him. Let go of this. What the heck was he doing? Hold. 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 Shorty. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Is that my first time ever? The girl must be extra careful around here. Some of my fellow Prisrag are wearing arc suits. It's protective armor that can withstand a direct taser attack. These guys are trigger happy and won't hesitate to attack the girl if they get the chance. I see. Worst of all, their patrols are unreliable, meaning they could show up anywhere at any time. Probably best to keep the girl hidden if you spot a Prisrag in an arc suit. Oh man. Hey. It's time to go. Man, I'm being serious. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. Mm. You men have been chosen to debut the new arc suits on your evening patrols. We've been assured by R&D that these suits are 100% effective in protecting it against tasers, weapon strikes. Ooh, tasers and weapon strikes for you lucky few who get to wear them. We recommend randomizing your patrol routes to increase the likelihood of a test encounter. Watch your step. Base exchange. Ooh, welcome to the Trinity Net Internal Mail Server. Mm, now they tell me. Be careful. The Prisrak in this part of Prisrak. the facility are unpredictable Take in their rounds. You never know where they might turn up. Bury your patrol routes. Yeah, so I gotta watch out for that on Prisrak person. Welcome to my domain. See anything you like. Come back anytime. I think that's an egg on Prisrak person right there. Let's go ahead and get up out of here, baby girl. You've been here long enough. Let's go. Good idea. My battery was running low. Okay, what's in this locker? Level. It ain't gonna do much though. It ain't gonna do much. Oh no. It ain't say nothing about being a uh, mace though. It said it said it said it, it cannot they said it can stay in tasers, but it ain't say nothing about it can uh stay in mace. If I spray it, suck I, I believe I bet you I'm good. Now can I take I'm in a taser? Target neutralized. Hey, it does nothing. That could have been bad. Only thing good is that mace. He's got me. I'll check his pockets. Hurry up. Got it. Yes, ooh, got another cartridge. Yes. Okay, um, it's time to go, man. I've been around here too long. It's time to go. Assuming the human race is still around in the year 3000, mm. I wouldn't be surprised to see time traveling astronaut PhDs plugging away at this game, still mesmerized by its timeless beauty, still throwing their heads up in disbelief when failing to anticipate an opponent's move. Pathogen is what I call a friend ender. Play with extreme caution, especially if you have friends. Hmm. And, pathogen, and pathogens is what inside Duque. Which is very disgusting. Okay, I gotta go upstairs too. My man is 
feeling that boy. He is feeling that joint. That, that hurt, don't it? I know it do. That yeah, hurts. Let's go up this way, cause I gotta go upstairs too. Okay, that's level two, so I can't go through that door yet. Nothing over here. I guess it's time to go upstairs. All right, let's get ready to go upstairs. Going oh, into oh, his pockets. Get his butt. Get his butt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I got some more minutes? Oh no! Get your hands off me! Dang! So when I see those fools, I gotta hide. It's getting more difficult. Oh boy, it's getting more difficult, y'all. Getting more difficult. It's getting more difficult. Let's go. We gotta go. It is getting more difficult. Let's go. Dang, I need some more mace. I ain't talking about the rapper either. Dang, that dude right there, he got me. Alright, let's go on up the stairs. Let's go on upstairs. Cause I'm I might run into another one of them fools. I ain't, I ain't trying to run into another one of those fools. I don't got no mace. Yeah, I gotta do a lot of ducking. Alright, come on, come on. Right, be careful, be careful. What, what is this right here? What is this? I'm thinking. Oh, I can I hide in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let me check all around here right quick. Oh, I got, I got, yeah, I got things to get. Yep. Mmm, Papa Zian. Ooh. Papa Zian, David. Mmm, allies. Uncle DP. David Stewart. Medical history. Obsessive compulsive. Multiple personality disorder. Charges. A manslaughter and armed robbery. Oh, man. But you tough. Well, you was tough, my guy. Freaking manslaughter. Let me grab these two right quick. The librarian's portrait has been taken down. I hope this is only a symbolic gesture. Hmm, a symbolic gesture. It was taken down. It's the, it's right, the right thing, thing to, to do. do. Librarian, okay's decision to protect bell. pre cows from literary rot. Do you want me to literally eat my words? I'm sorry, Miss Sade. I should not have thrown that newspaper at you. But how could you write this? I did not agree to ban books. The very implication hurts me to the bottom of my soul. Well, I am sorry about your hurt bottom. But I used only direct quotes from you, librarian. See here. You said about Fahrenheit 451, and I quote, It is worse than distasteful. It is revolting. Your words. You asked me what I thought about the burning of books, not the book itself. You did say it, though. This is insanity. You are shameless. Then take it up with the overseer. And pick up this mess on your way out. Alright. This is the right thing to do. Okay. Jump over here. Let me look at this other stuff on the cameras right quick. I gotta go ahead and get this book over here. Definitely got to get that book. And I and I freaking need some more mace because I got to tase that dude back over there. The one that just tased me while I, I got to go back and tase his tail because he probably got a cartridge on his butt. And I definitely want it. 
Mmm. Nice. Let's get it. Ooh, that's another book over here, too. Brent's New Float. Once you enter Cocoon, the sense of the player starts off being enticed by wanting to get up to the librarian because something could have happened, right? And the player can go up to the librarians or can go up to the overseers. So what I would propose instead is, this is for a little bit of a narrative reason, but also mostly for a pacing reason. I would say let's actually cut out player choice of this level and the openness aspect. I was very much a big supporter and liker of the player kind of having like space to explore and go and feel. Um, but I partly don't think we actually support that well enough, like in terms of like what our game is and sort of what you get by going and having options to go into areas that you can't like, really solve. You know, you're just really going and messing around in an area that you can't do anything with, uh, or it's out of order. So I think the over uh, the librarian being injured is actually probably like the biggest thing that the player wants to, you know, that's like the pull of this whole level. And so to me, it always felt like really awful to just go and immediately solve that and that the pull of the level is, is a key. And I know that the key lets you out, but uh, in a way, in the last episode, we just had the getting you out, letting you out thing, right? And that was episode one. So what we do is we start up episode two with Hope saying, okay, now we can see the librarian, right? And I'm actually of kind of siding with what Brent is saying here in terms of that could be the, the better payoff of episode two, because we do. But to channel Brent and Murphy, what he says is that, you know, she's her whole point is to get to the library. And, and I don't think that's necessarily taken away from this. I don't think we're losing that. I think it's just it becomes what episode two is all about. Okay, okay, okay. They got a lot of these joints right here. But they planning it, talking about it, trying to get it right. It's a lot of behind the scenes joint that they got. A lot of them. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else to grab for right now. Oh yeah, I think that's the wait, wait. Yeah, I think that's the steps that I came up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna see me. He most definitely. Oh, well, I thought, well, I thought he was reacting to something for a second. I'm about to say, what? That's Glacer. Mm, Glacer, mm, Glacer Frank. Mm, allies. Einhander, another joke. Medical history. Tinnitus, homophobia, charges, kidnapping, criminal contempt of court. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely got it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's me standing right over there. I see it. I see myself right over there. Morning production, MTG. to figure out a solution to the concurrence performance issue because we have nothing really in there and especially with like QI and all that stuff and it's already bad in my opinion so it's only going to get worse so I was going to spend pretty much the majority of this milestone trying to come up with a solution to that if there is one but yeah the rest of the guys are just going to be focusing on art then I'm going to do metamorphosis and then ideally all the design stuff will get migrated over and then we can just do the final pass so what, is, what are you thinking you're going to do about the performance problems are you working on? <clears throat> I'm going to have to try to break up the cocoon into smaller chunks. I'm going to try to use Umbra, see if that gives us any kind of win. Um, and pretty much if those two things fail, then we just have to start aggressively cutting stuff from cocoon. I the cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the coolest looking thing in there. <laughs> it's like, it's a so yeah, the unfortunate thing to all this is, like episode two was our vertical slice, and we never got to perform on iPhone four. If there's any kind of assistance that the Umbro guys can offer, I can probably hook that up. Yeah, yeah I'll let, let me know. I'll let you know. I should have a reasonable idea of like what state it is in and 
how screwed we are or not screwed by Thursday. I hope this isn't true, but I feel like we're going to run into some problems, and it's better to know about them sooner rather than later so we can come up with creative solutions. And Darcy and I have talked about this in terms of uh, QA resources, the demand on, on testing in every department, but, but particularly QA gets gets larger because you have to make sure not it's just the new episode, but how it relates with the other ones. So We're cool right now, but we're kind of looking at that in the near future. Hi, ready for test? Hope VO FaceTime. Get it in game. That's cool, man. They got notes and stuff that they writing out everything. Remove. That's cool, man. I like how they do stuff. They got a nice little strategy going on. Alright, it's time to come from hiding. Let's go on over here. Let's go. Come on, come on, baby girl. Will somebody freaking come up? Is that something over here, I think? Pepper spray here. Yes, pepper spray. Only got one of them. Dang, I need some more pepper spray. That's the only thing that's effective to them fools. Is that pepper spray. They can't do nothing against that. All right, let's go. Oh. oh, Cooper. It seems this door requires Omni Level 2. You can upgrade your OmniView software at a demon server. I'm detecting a demon server near the overseer's office. The nearest approach is from the museum. All right, okay. So there's one close by, as he said. It's near the museum. What's yours is mine. Yes, okay. Let me just let me see what type of book it is. I got like one, two, three, four, five, six more books to get. Ah Invisible Man Ellison, a novel. Who lets his nameless protagonist Ralph Ellison between conforming as an amnesiac of racial disadvantage and recalling all the doors locked by white hands. Belonging versus integrity. This book keeps open and raw such dichotomies, like festering wounds, while preserving an outdated model of social conflict. Invisible man should remain invisible. Yeah, headmaster. Yeah, headmaster. I like how you're talking. All right. Okay, all right, let's get ready to go up these steps right quick. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's get ready to go up these steps. Come on, Hope. Let's go, Hope. We got things to do, baby girl. We got things to do. I got to watch out for these fools, though. Because you never know. Oh, 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 let me go in this door. Oh my god. Let me go back out for a second. I definitely gotta go in that door though. Oh, a book over here on the end. Yes. Let me go ahead and get ready to grab that joint. Alright, come over here and get your book, Hope. Let's get your book, Hope. Let's get your book. I'll be taking this. Yes. Go ahead and take it, mama. Illustrating in pointless Tropic of detail Cancer. one sexual Henry Miller does not make for good writing. Miller's Tropic of Cancer is about as sexy as cancer itself. Yeah. Our beloved pre-cows must never suffer the caustic eruptions of desire this book desires to make possible. Like innocence lost, circulated contraband cannot be totally retrieved. But it may be Tended. When we remove the object of desire, we erase the possibility for dissent. All right, Tropic of Cancer. 
Let's get it. Okay, I can't go in here yet. Nope. I'm the version. I need 2.0. Alright, let's go. I gotta go in this room though right quick. Alright, let's go back to this room. Let's go ahead and face it. We gotta go ahead and go in that room. Even though we don't want to. We gotta go up in this room right quick. We're gonna have to go up in the... Alright, that's why I gotta be right here. This is where I gotta be. Hey, where that fool go at? Hey, where your boy go? He went somewhere. Maybe he went downstairs. Oh man. I see a book down there in the cut that I gotta get. I see that. See that book right down there. I gotta grab that sucker right there. I see it. Pen code required. Oh man, I need a pen code. He probably got it on him. I ain't that fool probably got a pen code on him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Hope. No stopping, no stopping, baby girl. You gotta, you gotta do this. This door requires a pin code. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can spray that dude. I can spray that dude. Yeah, we good. I can spray that fool. You ready to duck. There you go. I know you're coming up. You probably come this way. Get ready, get ready. Oh, he going out that way. Oh shoot, it's two of them. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. It's two of them fools. Hey, no, 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 no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's two of them fools. Hey, okay, he going downstairs. Nice, nice. I'm gonna have to get you too. Dang, go on downstairs. Go on downstairs. Take your butt downstairs. Alright, spray his tail. Spray him, spray him, spray him, spray him. I hope the other one ain't coming back up. Hey. Yes. Check him, check him, check him, check him. Check him, check him. Check him, check him. What do you got? Oh, got a cartridge. All right, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Your boy coming back up. I think he's coming back up. Oh, no. Nigga know he hurt. Man, he probably know he hurt. One of my favorite designers, the mastermind behind Number Blueprint two. 3D, is at it again. This time he has players solving simple math equations while searching for numbers in a sea of digits. Sometimes the number you're looking for is right in front of your face. Speaking of faces, mine melted when I completed my first numerity puzzle. The camera zoomed out and revealed the hidden picture. Boom. Mind blown. <laughs> boom. Mike, boom. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, man, he probably ended up knowing he hurt. Mm, NT, NTR. Oh, he's, oh, he's stupid. Oh, he's stupid. He ain't say nothing to his homeboy. Like, yo, man, what's going on? What's wrong, dude? What's wrong? Are you okay? We got an intruder. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. He ain't say nothing about a freaking intruder. Dang. I guess they stupid, then. They just fill out an application. They did just gave them a job. They didn't even care. They just said, man, we need to fill these positions real quick. We don't care if you're smart. We don't care if you're stupid. We can just give you a job. Them boys certainly don't know where uh, somebody in trouble. He saw your boy just squirming. He saw him squirming. He saw him moving all about. He like, hmm, maybe there's some gnats up in here or something. Maybe there's some mosquitoes. Oh, well, let me just get back to work. Oh my god, such an idiot. Better raise the threat level. Better raise the threat. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, looks like we 
Go, 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 baby, go, go. You got to go, you got to go, go, go this way. You got to go, mommy. Okay, he ain't coming, he ain't coming, there he go, he's, he's still over there. Wait, I don't have no more pepper spray. Dang, I don't even have none. Jeez. Yeah, I don't even have no more. I don't even know how I'm going to get your boy. I don't know how I'm going to freaking take him down. They definitely got to give me something more stronger. I know they is. They got to. They got to give me something more stronger. Oh, shoot. Here he come. Here he come. Go. You got to go. You got to go, baby. You got to go. All right, turn around. You got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go hide in this bush. And we definitely got to strategize. Oh, my God. There he go. Oh, boy. Oh, girl, if you don't put your head back down, I know something. We definitely got to strategize. Oh, my God. We Oh, no. Get, get, your, get, get your butt back in there. Get your butt back in there. Okay, he left. All right, okay, since he left, let's go ahead and help him shoot back over here right quick. Maybe I can quickly go downstairs. Okay, I can't grab nothing over there. I can't grab nothing over there. Maybe I can quickly go downstairs and hide in this plant right here. Now, what, what are you doing? This way, this way. Go down, go down. Go down, go down. Thanks. How are you? Yes, it is a good spot. Hurry up and get in there. Nothing to report. Ooh, yeah, let me get these two right quick. Ooh, and I gotta get that third one right quick, too. Gotta get those three right quick. And then that's gonna be it. Ooh. To get into the headmaster's office upstairs, we will need his pin code. I don't have it in my files, but we can recover it. We'll need to answer some security questions first. Oh no. My god. If you are not. Oh man. Kenny Cairo. Please exit this system. Oh man. Freaking dag on security code. Please provide the answers to your preset security questions. Oh man. Warning. Two incorrect answers would trigger intruder alarm and immediate system shutdown. Oh man. Panko required. What color are your mother's eyes? Oh man. I probably gotta read something before I before I look at that. False prophet. False prophet infiltrates, infiltrates metamorphosis. metamorphosis. Masquerading as Prizrak, man brings toxic agenda to our perfect garden. The man's name is Zager, I believe. Daniel Marcus Zager. Apparently he was some kind of journalist on the outside. If the overseer was smart, he'd label this as an act of supreme jealousy. After all, ours is a nation so wonderful that people risk death to sneak inside. Hmm. Maybe we should take the initiative and lead with this angle. Maybe. Maybe, baby girl, maybe. You got another to camouflage him. joint. You have to answer this in order to come see him. Right. It makes sense for this to be the stairway to heaven, right? Which goes up to his, his office. Correct. Uh, if it's going to be to the pyramid room, then it would be more like a, a password recovery. Yeah, thing. see, that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, one, one thing that kind of bothers me about the, the quiz about the overseer is that Hope would know all those answers because she probably knows all that. She's been trained and taught all those yeah, kinds of things. Oh, I don't want to overthink it, but don't you, don't you think that's kind of weird? Like, She's been through that museum before, right? We have to assume. Yeah, but maybe maybe it's not just like super obvious stuff. Maybe there's more details about certain things that it. That's why, like originally when I thought it was POI, I thought like you were scanning like important like details about these objects that weren't necessarily like. If there's speaker boxes on the museum, then yeah, it's a little more like okay, everyone should know these. Well, but if there's scannable POI, then it's something that like Hope might not know. It's something like only you might be privy to because you're like hacking, understanding right. it. 
But then it goes more towards a security thing and not something that the children yeah. know be, to answer this question to go see them. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, I think we could we could potentially put a POI in there that's like, you know, we, we've updated to be more difficult. There are too many people like harassing the overseer or something like that. Yeah. So it, it's a it's a different thing that has some other facts. And we could even have Hope say something where it's like, oh, I didn't know that, you know, or something like that. I can get with it. I can get with it. I can get with it. Oh my god, man. This is just, this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's getting juicy. Oh my god, it's getting juicy, y'all. Oh man. And we're gonna definitely see how more juicier it gets in the next episode. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end this jump right here. My girl, she did pretty good for tonight. Yes, she did. She getting more information. She collected more tapes. She's going around, she's tasing guards and spraying guards. And she getting further. And she finally made it into the library. And we gonna see what's gonna happen in the next episode around up in this place. Yes, we is. Alright, it's your man, Love Lie Apple. I'm about to get on up out of here and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I'm gone. Peace. Ah.